The world was young, the mountains green, no stain yet on the moon was seen. No words were laid on stream or stone when Durin woke and walked alone. He named the nameless hills and dells, he drank from yet untasted wells. He stooped and looked in mirror near and saw a crowd of stars appear as gems of a silver thread above the shadow of his head. The world was fair, the mountains tall, in elder days before the fall of mighty kings in Nagathrond and Gondolin, who now beyond the western seas have passed away. The world was fair in Durin's day. A king he was on carven throne in many pillared halls of stone, with golden roof and silver floor and rooms of power upon the door. The light of sun and star and moon in shining lamps of crystal hue, undimmed by cloud or shade of night, there shone forever fair and bright. Their hammer on the anvil smote, their chisel clove and graver wrote. Their forge was blade and bound was hilt, their delve on mine the mason built. Their burial pearl and opal pale and metal wrought like fish's mail. Buckler and corslet, axe and sword and shining spears were laid in horn. Unwearied then were Durin's folk, beneath the mountains music woke, and harpers harped and minstrels sang, and at the gates the trumpets rang. The world is grey, the mountains old, the forge's fire is ashen cold, no harp is rung, no hammer falls, the darkness dwells in Durin's halls. The shadow lies upon his tomb in Moria in Khazad Doom, but still the sunken stars appear and darken windless mirror mirror. There lies his crowd in water deep till Durin wakes again from sleep. <laughs>